Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we're going to be taking a look at your broil element on this Maytag electric freestanding range. To begin this repair, we must first access the back of the unit. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. The tools you will need for this repair are a number two Phillips screwdriver and a voltmeter. Now that you have unplugged the unit and gained access to the back, first we'll need to remove the plate here. This covers your terminal block as well as wiring. There are two screws that hold it in. push down and pull out. Now that we have the bottom panel removed, there are five screws that hold on the top panel. Once you remove these, just be very careful. The metal is extremely sharp. Grab it and set it aside. Before you remove your last one, put pressure on the plate so it doesn't fall. Grab it from the bottom, slide out. Now that we have our back panels removed, we have clear access to our broil element assembly. Some of the reasons why you might be replacing a broil element is because your bake might not heat up to where it's supposed to or take too long to preheat. You might not have any broil at all. Sometimes the elements actually catch on fire and break. If you have any of these symptoms, you could have a bad broil element. The first thing I would do is hook up your meter. When testing a broil, if it's not visibly broken, um, first thing I would do is unplug it, and you're going to want to test for 120 volts. How I do this, you have to be very careful, is I plug my meter leads on the terminals. I go into the side of the terminal so it has a good grip. Plug it in here, set it on voltage. Now, what you want to do generally is plug in your appliance. Plug it in, make sure you have 240 volts. Whenever you click on the broil portion of the control board, you should hear a click coming from the relay as soon as you hear this. If you look on your meter, you have 240 volts. Make sure that you keep these meter leads separated. If they touch, it can short out. Um, you can touch the sides very easily. Make sure you unplug the appliance before you're pulling this. Now you've verified your electricity, but you might still have no broil or you know a long bake. Next, test out continuity on the element. Put it on to ohms. I use an audible tone on mine, it's just easier to see it or hear it if you can't actually see the, the display on there. But generally, any element should have 10 to 50 ohms. If you're within that range, element should be fine. But on here, you hear the audible tone and we have 15 ohms. That's showing us that this element does have continuity through it, but for video purposes, we're gonna go ahead and replace it today. First thing you wanna do is access the front of the unit. Now that we're to the front of the unit, next we'll need to remove your door. To do so, there are two clips, one on each side of the hinge. They'll pull all the way down to where they're at an angle. Now when you push this door up, the lip of the door will catch on the lip of these clips. So meet it, it will stop. Next, we'll pull in and out and set it aside. Now, remove your racks, simply lift up and pull out. When removing your broil element, there are three screws that attach it to the unit. First, remove your back Phillips number two screw. Next, remove the top Phillips screws. When removing this one, hold on to the element so that it doesn't fall. down and slide out set your element aside 
When installing your broil element, <clears throat> slide in the back first. Secure one of the top screws that hold it in place. Now, install your second top screw. And finally, the back. Now, we can reinstall the racks and door. Now, let's reinstall your oven racks. Lift them at an angle and slide in. Reinstall your door. Slide the hinges in the slotted area. Should seat in there properly. Once you get it seated, push your clips back down and close it. Now we'll finish up at the back of the unit. Now that we have our broil element installed, make sure that the terminals aren't close to the metal at all. If it was to sag, it's not gonna arc out or short out anything. This can damage your main control board. So as long as it looks okay, go ahead and reconnect the terminals gently. Now we can reinstall our back panels. Line your top panel up again. The middle will slide in. Put one screw in and tighten it. Line up. Put the other screw in on the other side just to hold it up. Place the other perimeter screws. And now we can reinstall the bottom plate. There are two tabs that you insert into the two slots of the oven and then you lift up. So align both sides in the designated slots, slide up, place your screws. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.